good afternoon and om shanti didi how are you raj didi om shanti fine thank you lovely to have you over here on seek the soul the truth lies within and we are talking about the soul over here the truth is only the soul not this body so we are trying to go into a new paradigm of how the soul thinks behaves and acts and as per that the karmas happen in this world and we are the creators of our own destiny and that is the only truth and when there is truth in our life then there is peace in our life so thank you raj didi for coming over and uh, for my listeners raj didi is actually has been a teacher throughout her life she has taught for a couple of years more than i think 20 25 years if i am right raj didi any education yes. lines okay so you know how even youth how children also are uh, being affected by this uh, corona virus at the present moment and uh, what's the level of fear i think we're going to talk about fear today so raj didi has been a spiritual uh, awakening person for many people in their lives and she has affected a lot of people's lives also so what i believe is that raj didi can give us a lot of insight about a lot of things over here and especially since we're going to talk about fear in the present pandemic scenario so raj didi what do you think is the situation of uh, people like the virus cases are going up and uh, along with that even the fear is going up in everybody's life be it financial fear be it f- related to health mostly it's about health i think so what do you think is the right way to handle this fear and how should we start okay uh, where does this fear develop right where does it develop it develops in the mind in your mind right and it's all around it's us. in your thoughts yes and how does it develop? how does it develop information yes all the information which we are taking from the a world. lot of information right which we are is coming in is that uh, we don't have any cure this kills you right this uh, makes you suffer for a long period right you know so that is the information that we are getting exactly and everyone is afraid of the unknown right so this virus right being something new right and no one knows how to go about treating it right. or how it's evolving that is what is creating panic and fear among people okay so the best way is right get the information right whatever is needed right but don't concentrate on it for 24/7 some people are continually on watching tv or gathering information be it by a social media right so just get the information what development is taking place right and from reliable sources reliable okay. sources okay because a lot of fake news is also going around right and remember nothing lasts forever exactly nothing lasts forever so we've had pandemics before also right and it will continue in the future also and right. we will find a cure also fine so it is information basically okay so if if we are getting information all over the internet or youtube or through the news channels nowadays so we mm-hmm. can't we can't avoid the information and the quality of information also it depends upon the source actually so how can i listen to something which is uh, actually uh, making me feel dangerous it's making me feel uh, anxiety and how can simply i simply don't listen okay but you said right now that take the information avoid it as to soon... no i did not say that i said only which is relevant from okay. reliable sources okay that gives you correct information you know there are channels and channels and channels on tv which you can access there are internet right. and all that right. so uh, as soon as i see corona i don't access i don't open it at all i don't read it at all okay once a day i tune in to information given by say maybe who okay the world health organization okay or reliable doctors that's all there's okay. no uh, actually listening to it is it going to help you getting all this information now mm-hmm. can you do anything about it mm-hmm. you cannot so can why concentrate on that 
I can just take precautions as per the information. Yeah, hmm. that's all. Just a little information, like news also. When you listen right. to the news, you don't get stuck on it the whole day, na? Because it's mostly negative. Right, right. Listen to it once a day okay. to get in. Okay. Whatever's going around, and after that, yes. Okay, so let's say uh, information in the news is there. But let's say something happens around us in our own society, in our own, uh, like in a place like Darjeeling, we are in a community. We have different wards around us. So similarly, bigger cities are also there. So if there's a threat yes. next door to us, and if there's a, let's say there's a COVID case next door to us, so there is obviously a certain form of fear which is there in everybody who's staying in the neighboring, in the neighborhood, the different families which are there, the different uh, people who are staying over there. so they might be going through some kind of fear so how do we handle that kind of fear because i believe personally on my channel also i've discussed with a lot of people that uh, fear actually brings about a reduction in your immunity so it immunity. actually it affects yes. your immunity in a very big way and that's what i've spoken about yes. how thoughts affect your immunity also in one of my videos in this channel itself so i believe the fear also is something which we need to face but at the same time we need to learn how spirituality actually helps us to use the certain kind of thought patterns or belief systems so as to face them in a very easy manner keeping obviously god in our sight okay for this matter right. like whatever is happening in the community whatever the authorities are doing Mm-hmm. is exactly correct especially in a place like darjeeling and kursiang the small areas you know okay. as soon as a covid patient is uh, detected uh, they test them okay and the whole village or the area that they are living around right. are tested also fine so and then you get the results within a day or two or nowadays and you know you're negative right so you're fine fine so that fear is taken away okay and there's always you know your thought pattern like you said right okay spiritually what we believe in is changing your that's the base of it right. your thoughts are the base right of your physical health and your mental health right because physical health also depends on your mental state exactly it always depends on your mental state right so what you do who is thought pattern spiritually what we believe is right. just like the organs of the physical body we have the heart and the lungs and everything right. spiritually the organs of the spirit is mind okay thought mind and okay. action okay? okay these are the organs okay okay like in hindi we say man buddhi sanskar right okay what do you think mhm suppose i'm scared i'm afraid right. okay i'm afraid i'll get it i'll get it so right. your mind understands what will you do i'll get it right and that's what's translated by your body right so you begin with the thought a lot of uh, things have been said about positive thinking right but people do not understand what is positive thinking exactly okay. so positive thinking means right. things will happen right not necessarily everything good all the time right things will happen right but how will i happen right i'm going to remain calm even if i get the disease okay. i'm going to take the proper means go to the doctors or get admitted whatever has to be done right. be basic prepared yeah but then don't dwell on it i'm going to get it i'm going to get it okay because then you create right you manifest what you think the universe listens to you right but then uh, one because thing it's is and it's going out no Yeah, but one more thing is like even having the fear of I don't have to think these thoughts, I should not think these thoughts, or I hope I'm not thinking these thoughts. Even the fear of not thinking these thoughts is also something which is actually spreading around in the world. No, no, no. It's not I should not think. Mm-hmm. The thought will come. You're right. It's not that you cannot because you are creating the thoughts. Right. Based on information, like right. I said. Right. Right. But then it's not. I should not think. Thought Aya, look at it, and then say, "What's the worst that can happen? Okay. What's the best that can happen? Okay. So you choose the path instead of going to the worst. Think of the solution. Fine. So it should okay? be a solution. That's where you do it. 
हाँ. Yeah, so that means we are guiding our thoughts in the right direction, as you said that we have the mind yes. and the intellect and the sanskars. So the intellect हाँ. is actually choosing which direction to choose. Yes, and what has happened now hmm. in the modern day is, like I was uh, taking a spiritual class of one child, twenty five, twenty six year old man. and this uh, person happened to say something which uh, really you know it was eye opening uh, he said that it means right now people are jumping from thought to action straight away right bypassing the mind right bypassing the mind right so that is what is happening we are bypassing we are jumping from thought to action right and thoughts triggering fear trigger we are reacting not responding right that is our problem yeah right right okay so can we have a, a small meditation in order to guide our mind towards uh, this kind of a thought pattern so that we can whatever we have discussed in this session we can actually bring our mind towards and our intellect towards the right pattern of thinking oh sure yeah let's be comfortable thank you so much let's, let's take a deep yes. breath Okay. I am what I think. And what I think is created by me. It is my choice to direct my thoughts. in the direction that i want it is solely my life doesn't depend on anyone because i am the creator of my thoughts i am a strong being who can overcome any obstacles in life. Let us focus on that. Thank you so much Raj Didi so Welcome. i hope our listeners are going to actually listen to all that which Raj Didi has mentioned over here and practice the meditation and try to direct the thoughts towards what is positive and direct the thoughts towards something which is making us feel peaceful on a regular basis even though we are being bombarded with so much of information on a daily basis but the intellect which is a part of the soul itself has a choice and has the power to choose the right thoughts in the right direction thank you so much for today's session and i think in the next session we can think about and talk about how reacting and not responding is what is happening Respond. in the present uh, world scenario so thank you so much raj didi i'll see you again in the next session then take care bye bye okay wishing the best okay Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh.